Hey, writers. So you've been learning that an information writer is really like a teacher and that you need to teach your reader information. And one thing that teachers do is they think about their students and think, what would they want to know? And writers can do that too. So writers, today I'm going to give you a tip. Today I want to teach you that when writers are writing information books, they think, who is my reader? Who am I going to teach today? And then they think about the information that their reader would want to know. And they write in a way to teach their reader the information that's most important. So some of you may have finished your last teaching book and you're moving into a new one, or maybe you're still working on your last one. But will you think right now, what is the topic of an idea that maybe you could write about today? Okay. So we're going to try this. We're going to try to think about questions our reader might have. And I'm writing about running. So I'm going to think, what does my reader want to know? Who is my reader? Is my reader somebody who is an expert in running also? Mm, I don't think so. Is my reader someone who's just getting started in running and could use some tips? Yeah, that's the kind of reader I'm looking for. My dad's kind of like that. My dad could use some tips in running. Okay, so will you watch as I think about questions my dad might have or any reader might have that is new to running. They may say things like, where can you run? Or how do you run? Or maybe they'll say things like, should you run right after you had a big meal? Or where is the best place to run? And then I can use those questions to answer in my writing. So let me try that. If my reader wants to know, should you run right after you've had a big meal? You shouldn't. You may get a tummy ache. So I can include that. So maybe I could say, like, what you put into your body can affect you. Some people will get a stomach ache if they eat right after a big meal. But it helps to have a little food for energy. And I put those words right down on the page. So do you see how I'm thinking about the questions my reader might have? It could help to think about like question words like who or where or how, how do you do it? Or why, why should you do it? What you think right now? Think about some of the questions that your reader might have. All right, writers, it's time to try this in your own writing. Remember, you really want to think about, how can I teach my readers? And one way you can do that is think about the questions your reader might have. And ask those questions out loud to yourself, and then try to answer them on the page. Hopefully this will help you as you are answering questions that your reader might have. Sometimes when you go to answer the question, you write down the answer and then you move on. But sometimes your reader wants to know more. So instead of writing one sentence, you can write two sentences or twin sentences. A twin is two. So here's an example. I was writing about what runners need. Runners need to wear sneakers. I could have just stopped there, but I decided to say more. I wrote a twin sentence. So here's what I wrote. Runners wear sneakers. Sneakers protect your feet from getting hurt. Do you see how my answer was sneakers? And then I wrote another sentence about sneakers. I said a little bit more about it. You can try that in your writing too. This is just another way that you can teach your reader. You can write in twin sentences. So if you were writing about dogs, it could be like, dogs like biscuits. What else can I say about biscuits? Biscuits are like cookies. Do you see how I did that? You can try this in your writing 
to teach your reader to. It is time for you to write. You heard Miss Christy. You need to write for 20 minutes today. You might be starting a new book today since this is the third day that we're writing. So Monday and Wednesday, you spent your time working on your first book. You may have had enough time to start your last book, but I bet you Miss Christy, she told us so much good stuff that you might be able to go add more stuff in your first book. So make sure you are working for 20 minutes today. You might be adding to your first book or you might be starting a brand new book, but you are supposed to write for 20 minutes after listening to Miss Christy. I cannot wait for you guys to turn in your work today. When you are finished with all of your work, you're going to turn it in and you're going to put it in your envelope. And I cannot wait to read your teaching books. I can't wait to learn more about what you can teach about. So make sure that you're doing, you're writing about something that you are super excited to teach Ms. Strohmeyer. I will see you guys later. Bye.